Hi folks, whether you own or just maintain a Detroit diesel powered vehicle, at some point you may need to change the DEF dozer inlet screen. Here I'm going to show you how to go about doing that. The DEF dosing unit is mounted to the rear of the one box. It's the last stop in the DEF system before it's injected into the one box. The screen in the inlet side of the dozer is the last line of defense the system has to keep contaminants out of the dosing unit. This is a breakdown of the dosing unit. The serviceable parts on it are very simple and they're very easy to work on. Replacing the inlet screen can be done on the vehicle, but I find it easier to remove the dosing unit to have it done. To remove it, just disconnect the electrical connection in the front and then the two DEF lines feeding it. Be sure to keep the electrical connector away from any DEF that may be spilled out of it. It's very corrosive to electrical terminals in these plugs. To remove the unit from the one box, just remove the three screws that hold it in place and discard the metal mounting gasket between the dosing unit and the one box. These are not reusable. If you see DEF built up between the one box and the dosing unit, don't panic. It's probably just this gasket failing. It can be replaced and cured. Here we have all the parts in the service kit laid out. We have the new mounting bolts and gasket for the dosing unit, two new mounting bolts for the DEF inlet and outlet flange, two new flange connectors, and the new inlet screen. Also, if you flip the dosing unit over, you'll see this nice little message on the bottom that's good for a chuckle on the uh, Detroit-powered unit. So this is the DEF flange where the inlet and outlet lines connect to the dosing unit. These two Torx screws will remove it. Once removed, you'll see these two DEF flange connectors that transfer DEF in and out of the dosing unit from the flange. Just remove the flange connectors and clean up all the surfaces. Now with the connectors removed, we can look inside the inlet port and see the screen sitting in there. The filters on some older units, like EPA-10 units, were threaded in, but these are not. They're just pressed in, so you can pull them out of there with a small pick. To install the new inlet filter, just slip it inside the inlet port and press it down lightly. The service kit also comes with a bottle of lubricant, which oddly enough is also made by Cummins. This is the same lubricant you would use to replace the DEF filter in the DEF pump. I like to coat the O-rings on the DEF flange connectors with it. Once the O-rings on the flange connectors are coated, just lightly press them into the dosing unit. Install your DEF flange over the flange connectors and press it down. Use the new mounting screws to attach it to the dosing unit. Now you're ready to install your new mounting gasket and three new mounting screws to attach the dosing unit back to the exhaust system. Reconnect your DEF lines and electrical connections and that's it, you're done. So if you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit that like button. You can subscribe for more and thanks for watching.